from Langsant through to the A57 just happened to be out that day and I saw fires on Langsant, fires on Middup, fires on Broomhead, fires on Moscow and fires um, uh, all along that road. And I, the weather conditions were such Sadly, that there was a thermal inversion type approach, which meant that the conditions were perfect for a lot of smoke. It had been really wet, there had been a lot of vegetation, there's a lot of wet vegetation. It's literally like trying to set light to a compost, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You're literally just the burning water. So there's loads of water in the vegetation uh, and the westerly coming in and basically allowing the temperature inversion of the smoke to to just flow through the Western Valleys into Sheffield. So it was a particularly bad situation. And, you know, you would question why that day was chosen to do that particular burn, because the conditions were such that it was particularly bad for Sheffield that day. And it's interesting because it's the first, you know, it's been mentioned that burning has been going on a long time. It has, although, you know, historically, burning is a very small scale, small holding approach pre-enclosures, um, you know, it wasn't on the scale it is now, um, but you would uh, sort of question why um, that scale of burning had to take place on that day in that way and why um, that can't be managed differently. So we very much want to uh, promote um, through uh, our campaign, which we've had running for many years now, which is called Our Moors, which is on our website. Uh, for a very positive future vision of our Morgans. We think there's a different way forward um, and things are starting to change and subsidies are starting to change. It's a long story which I won't tell because there's time needed. Um, but uh, I personally don't believe that we have to burn Morgans to manage them in a positive way for people and wildlife and, and for the economy. I think there are other ways of doing it. I think people are starting to demonstrate that very well. The National Trust has really recently completely changed its policy and approach to this. It's using cutting, it's using grazing, hard grazing with cattle, it's doing re-wetting, gun blocking, all those kind of things. Uh, so there are ways and means, but it does require um, private landowners to engage and um, be open with us and for us to be open with them about solving some of those harder issues about cultural change um, and the traditions of how women are managed. Thank you very much.